Hello everyone, and my name is Harry Trooper, and today I'm walking goes through how to install Computer Plus to your LSPDFR. Just before we get started, if you guys haven't already, then make sure you consider like, comment, and subscribing to my channel just to help me out and to make me want to upload more videos. And if you guys want to join my Discord and get just a little bit more involved in my community, and maybe you want to talk to me directly, and maybe you want to suggest me some video ideas for me to do in the future. And maybe you just need some help with LSPDFR in general that maybe I can't reply to in a comment for. Make sure you join my Discord. There's gonna there's a great help team there at the moment. And maybe if you guys want to help yourself, then you can join my Discord as well. There's a short little application that you guys have to do. It's very easy, very simple. You just do that and you're straight away in the help team as long as you meet the requirements. And trust me, the requirements aren't that difficult. So if you guys are looking to join an active community for Discord, then make sure you join my Discord down in the description below. And make sure you can consider like, comment, and subscribing to my channel for many more videos to come. Thank you guys so much for watching, and now we'll carry on with the video. The first thing you guys want to do, click the first download link in the description below. That's going to bring you guys right here to the LSPDFR Computer Plus page. If you guys don't know what the LSPDFR Computer Plus mod is, then basically it is, as you guys can tell by the name, a computer which adds to your GTA 5 where you get a little pop-up like this and you can create arrest reports and citations and you can also look if they're wanted and if their license is valid and if they have warrants and things like that. You can also see where their home address is and obviously their date of birth. It just adds that extra bit of realism to your game. So as you guys can see here, there's a list of the abilities you guys can do. Installation is pretty simple, so all you guys want to do is click download this file, agree and download, and then make sure you're installing the newest version available to you. So for me, it's LSPDFR 0.4, and you can install the Computer Plus image, which just changes the background, but I'll just install this one for now. Once that's finished downloading, you want to open it on up. There you guys go. Double click on GTA 5 main folder, then plugins. That's what we're going to be dragging into your GTA 5 main directory to find that. That's in your file explorer, Windows C, Program Files 86, Steam, and Steam Apps, and then Common. If you have it on Rockstar Games, it's the same place, but instead of Steam, it's just Rockstar Games. Epic Games, no clue. Comment down below and I'll help you for that. So, go into the GTA 5 main directory you want to mod. So, for me, it's this one right here. Grab this plugins folder. Make sure, obviously, you have Rage plugin hook installed. Don't know how to install that. Watch my how to install LSPDF file tutorial where I'll walk you guys through how to do it in there. So grab the download. Make sure you have a blank space right here where you can highlight, like so, without it highlighting any folders. That's where we're going to be dragging this in. So then just highlight it, drag and drop. Obviously, making sure you are not dragging and dropping it into any folder here. Otherwise, when you drag and drop it, it's going to suck it all up into your game and it's gone forever and it'll mess up your game and so much effort to go through and delete it. So just drag and drop very carefully like so. Double click on plugins, you guys will be able to see this is in LSPDFR. You guys now will be able to see that you have successfully installed Computer Plus to your LSPDFR. If you guys found this video useful, if you guys do need to change the config file, maybe the button that you want to open the computer, which is E, I believe, is conflicting with anything else. Double click on configuration settings, and if you guys look down here, you guys can change the close Computer Plus key and the open computer plus key just by deleting e and changing it and then obviously saving that's all you guys got to do to change the key to open it but if i thank you guys so much for watching this video excuse my minor stroke there I seem to have one almost every single video now thank you guys so much for watching make sure you consider like comment and subscribing recently just passed 300 subscribers which is absolutely insane if we could get to 350 by the end of this year maybe even 400 you never go so thank you guys so much make sure you comment down below how i helped you you can even comment down below how I didn't help you and maybe I can fix that for you. If you guys haven't joined my Discord, make sure to click the link down in the description below. Maybe you want to support me just a little bit more, make sure you click the Patreon link down below. You don't have to, it's just an option. You can donate a few monthly. It'll just help me out to give away, like do some giveaways for subscriber milestones, just like I just hit 300 subscribers. And also just do some investment into the channel, maybe like a 5M server and stuff like that. Every single donation will only go into my channel and nothing personal. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next LSPDFR tutorial video.